Hello and welcome to another 60 Minutes with Retro Review with me, your host Chris, and this time we are going to be saying yippee ki motherfucker, to some terrorists because we are going to be checking out Die Hard Arcade on the Sega Saturn. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the Sega Saturn coverage. Uh, what did we play? What have we played? Road Rash, and we've played Athlete Kings so far. So um, I thought it'd be fun to go back and play Die Hard Arcade. Um, I have played this before. It's been a long time, so I can't remember much about it. Ooh, we've got a bad situation. Oh, Die Hard Arcade. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, fuck the other hostages. We've got to get the president's daughter out. That's all that matters. Um, so yes, this is uh, Die Hard Arcade, and um, it was followed up on the Dreamcast by Dynamite Cop, uh, which is the sequel, and uh, they lost the Die Hard license or chose not to use it uh, for Dynamite Cop. But essentially, they're... The, the same types of games. But I would like to read out from the instruction manual whilst this uh, attract video just plays. Because I just thought it was interesting uh, just to see the difference between obviously the movie and uh, they've taken some artistic license. So here we go. It says here, Terror in the Nak Nakatomi building. I'll try and do it my best sort of like, you know, movie trailer voice. John McLean. A detective from New York arrives in Los Angeles to spend Christmas vacation with his family. He stops by the LAPD to visit a former partner, not in the film, but while he is there, he learns that terrorists have occupied the Nakatomi building, where he, his wife works. The rogue band of nihilists, random, le led by the notorious White Fang, not Hans Gruber, uh, have taken little Missy Harrington, <laughs> the President of the United States' only daughter, hostage. So that's important, because it is the President's only daughter. So if she gets killed, then he ain't got any other kids to, you know, fall back on, shall we say. <laughs> McLean has to tries to hitch a ride with the patrol cars that are heading to the scene, but is denied. Denied. <laughs> Not one to give up. He makes so much trouble that a rookie detective named Chris Thompson is assigned to keep an eye on him. But McLean explains the situation to her, and smooth talk that he is convinces her to help him get to the scene. The two head for the parking lot to snatch a police car. Why do they have to snatch a police car if she's agreed to help him? Anyway, uh, there's one more page. I will read it. Um, As they emerge from police headquarters, they discover a SWAT helicopter about to take off from the parking lot. Okay. McLean jumps onto the chopper just as it's about to take off, and Thompson has no choice but to follow. With no time left to kick the two... Ooh! Just looked up and that's that white fang dude. Anyway. Um, with no time left to kick the two out, the helicopter takes off and heads to the scene. The helicopter arrives at Nakatomi, Nakatomi building and descends towards the roof. The SWAT members jump to the roof, but are immediately picked off by terrorist fire. As the chopper turns to retreat, McLean leaps out unarmed. Thompson reaches out to stop him, but is dragged into the fray. From here, the two begin their fight to destroy the fiendish plot of the White Fang and rescue the President's daughter. Ugh. Yeah, fuck the other hostages. Um, it's, the, it's all about the President's daughter. And I think the, the Dynamite Cop uh, it followed a similar theme. So let's have a look at this then. Uh, got the... Ooh. Die Hard Arcade. Um... Okay, okay. So we've got punch, kick, and jump. Straightforward. Movie scenes on. Friendly fire on. I think I'll turn that off, even though I'm only violence off. Bollocks to that. Um, okay. Now deep scan is a uh, a little bonus game. 
And it's a lovely little retro game. I I can't remember playing it, I must admit. Oh, so we got a little... Uh, oh, shit. We've got to blow up the subs. There's one. Whee! I'm going to get him! going to get him! Oh, you fucker. Let's get this twat here. Oh, oh yeah. So you've... You've got your little radar, and you've got to uh, avoid their torpedoes. Yes! And I'm assuming the numbers on the... Uh... Oh. Yeah, the numbers on the subs are the points that they're worth for destroying them. So yeah, I mean, I th I'm sure that... Um... Oh, I'm just going to fucking fire a load of missile, uh, depth charges and see what happens. Oh, that was close. Um, yeah, so Dynamite Cop had a similar bonus game. Look at all those. Missed all those. Fired all those fucking torpedoes. Not torpedoes. Depth charges. Oh, he ran into that silly twat. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to pause it. Continue deep scan. No. But anyway, it's a nice little inclusion of a, a game, you know. Um, which is very cool. So anyway, let's skip all that bollocks and, and get into the game and see what happens. We obviously know that they've taken some limited liberties with the uh, the Die Hard franchise, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Oh, here we go. Ugh! There's the SWAT people getting the shoot the the shot. The shot, the shoot, the shit shot, shot out of them. <laughs> I'll, get my, I'll get my words right in a minute. Uh, now, oof! Come here, you fuckers! Oh, oh! Punch him! Nice. Oh yeah! You can grab people. You can do uh, ooh, nice kind of like pile driving kick. Oh, knee him in the fucking belly. Ooh, look at that for a pile. It's like a suplex pile driver. I'm happy with that. So yeah, uh, th there is a review of Dynamite Cop on the, uh, the website as well, which I played last year. And a video. Um, that was before I started to do these these videos uh, that on a regular basis. Ooh. Now, if you pick up a weapon, from what I understand... Ooh, you uh, you can arrest the baddies. What's that? Uh, oh, ammo, I think. <laughs> Silly arsehole. Got... Oh, yeah! So, in terms of gameplay... Ooh. She's a bit of a slutty terrorist, isn't she? Mm. Come here, baby. Let me whack you with my pole. Let's pick up a gun. So, yeah, I mean, it's very, very reminiscent of uh, Dynamite Cop, as you can imagine. Even the way that um, he swings around his uh, his broomstick and... Oh, here we go. I think even the music's very similar. Oh, I got it! Yeah! Yeah, and that, that stuff's all pretty much exactly the same as Dyn uh, Dynamite Cop. Oh, got another one. Oh no. No, I just had to run there. Okay. Let's see fuck what's the fuck is he carrying? Uh okay. I don't want to take any chances with him. Fuck off. Right. Oh That's it, throw grandfather clock at him or well, not even a grandfather bloody great big clock. Now, I don't know if you get any extra points for I actually do want to arrest somebody. Come here. Oh, I think I knocked him out. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, he body slammed me! I'm liking the wrestling moves. That's quite cool. Now, in uh, Dynamite Cop, what is this? It's a great big missile launcher. That's cool. Uh, you could actually... Um Pick up the health. Pick up the health. Pick up the health. <laughs> I like his laugh. Let's fuck him up. He's funny. And again. 
he shouldn't laugh at a man with a rocket launcher. Uh, just a little bit of advice I'll, I'll give you, mate. <laughs> you know, you don't, uh, as Roddy Piper used to say, you don't spit in the wind and you don't step on Superman's cape. Well, you don't uh, laugh at a man <laughs> carrying a rocket launcher. Because only, there's only going to be one conclusion. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I seem to remember in Dynamite Cop that they were as equally inept. Because there you go, she's hiding in the same... <laughs> right next to the silly fucker. Um, which is quite funny. Oh, way to the next stage. Do I get to pick? Or am I... No. Oh, no. Um, yeah, so the, the other Die Hard game that I've played is uh, Die Hard Trilogy. Well, that's quite funny. Um, and that was quite cool. I, I do own that on the PlayStation, so I might play that. Ooh, I'll spray the fucker in the face. Ooh, you... Ooh, you shot me. Uh, yeah, so uh, that was cool, because it had three distinct uh, levels. Whoa, let's get that prick. I'll tell you what, John McClane's very uh, athletic. I don't remember him being this uh, athletic. Yeah, so there's three distinct um, ugh, fuck me, levels. There was uh, a, like a shooter, there was a uh, driving level, and then there was a, a light gun level. Ooh, right in the knackers. Oh. oh, I love that. That's awesome. Right. Arrest him! No, don't shoot him! Ah, oh, he fucking broke out of it! Yes, I am going to continue. Fucker. <clears throat> Tell, teach you to fuck about. Um, yes, and that was the other thing in D Dynamite Cop, uh, which is very similar to this, is that... Oh, here we go. Shit. Sneaking. Punch, kick, or jump. Jump! Oof! Fucking fire engine nearly ran him over. Uh, is that his clothes would fall off? Oh shit! Fucking! Whoa! Have some of that! Oh, you absolute bastards! See, I don't want to get too close. Let's just pick him off. I think. From a distance. Yeah! Have some of that. Oh, shit. Are these far? Oh, they are far. No! Oh, got out of it just. Oh. Oh. Jump, jump, jump! Oh, you fuckers. Yeah, so the, their clothes would fall, his clothes would fall off when uh, he took damage. So obviously he's got his uh, trademark vest on right now. Ooh, nice. Ooh, you bastard. <clears throat> Don't duck in! I want that axe. Fuck you. Ugh, have an axe in the face. Alright, axe him in the back. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. You gotta make yourself laugh, haven't you? Ugh. Okay. So yeah, in terms of gameplay, um, it all plays really nicely. It's uh, uh oof. Ugh. It's responsive. The punches and kicks work well. There's a few moves. Oh, he's just having a... He's having a wank! Dirty boy. Dirty boy! Ooh. No. Uh. Oh, I want that. Anti-tank rifle? Fucking hell. I tell you what, the... Uh, don't fuck about with the... Uh... Oh, there's bog rolls. What the fuck happened then? Ugh. Yeah, they don't mess about in this um, hotel. 
Can I pick up that bug roll? No, you just slip on it like a dipshit. As you as you would. Oh, I have a fucking Oh! Oh yeah. Oh no, he reversed me! Fucker. I want that health. Oh no, it's disappeared. Oh that's just fucking machine gun him. Ah, get the pill. Oh shit. He was just waiting, having a shit. Level up. What am I leveling up? I don't understand. Oh, you fucks. Is he fucking naked? What the frig? What the fuck was he doing in the toilet? Uh, oh, bollocks. Yes, I am going to continue. Because this game is a bit crazy. Um, get the pistol. I do want to actually arrest somebody. It would be nice. Oh, he's a annoying bastard. Let's, let's arrest this pervert. Oh, no. I must be doing something wrong. Fuck you! Yeah. Fucking... Oh, balls. Yeah, the, I like... Ooh, what's that? What's that? Life up. The, uh... The blood, <laughs> or the violence, is that the little pieces of uh, little red. Fucker. Right, I'm going to try and arrest this bastard. Come here! Ah! Fucking reverse it, you arsehole! I'm just going to juggle you in the air. Um, yeah, plays quite nicely for, an, for a, a, you know, an old game. Punch. Oh! Oh! Yeah, a low-profile terrorist wearing a pink jumpsuit with a duck on the back. Oh my god, what the fucking hell. <sighs> okay. Let's shoot these fuckers. They're freaking me out. Uh, what the hell's that? Uh. No! I don't like these. They scare me. What is that? Plus as well, they're getting in the fucking... Oh, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> fucking hell. Yes, I do want to continue. Stop asking me. Right, I want to pick that up. Oh, it's just... It's a robot arm. <laughs> I like how it helpfully tells you what stuff is. Get him! Ooh, that's harsh. Get the gun, get the gun. Oh, come on, give me a fucking break, will you? Actually, no. Let's get the TV monitor. Oh, in the face. Any more? Any more weird robots just uh, randomly... Oh, here we go. No, I don't know. I don't have to do a quick time event. Oh, get to the lobby! I seem to remember that the the main bad. Who's that? Who's that big fucker? The picture. It's a random picture of a. A gurning blokes, but on the wall. Anyway. Yeah, I seem to remember the bad, the main bad guy looked similar, but he was called Wolf Hongo or something like that. Yeah, got a strange name. Ugh. God, I haven't got very far, have I? I'm still in the fucking lobby. Ugh. Absolute wankers. Spray can. Yeah, spray him in the face. Ugh. Have some spray. Oh, beat the shit out of him. I like that there's quite a nice variety of enemies. I don't know what he was doing. Machine gun him. Yeah. Is that... Who's that? Is he a good guy? No. Oh, no. Why have they got, like, SWAT uniforms on? Oh, you absolute twat. Fucking... Get the power pill. 
Grab him. Get him. Mm. Oh, he's arresting him. Yeah. Arrest. Oh, fuck. I'll just kill him instead. Oh, you twat. Have that. Come here, you fucker. Oh. I like that. Although it killed me. It's a nice dragon punch. Shoot him. Yeah, shoot him. Fuck with me. Um, Music-wise, I, I, I seem to think that it's... Oh, what the frig here? It's very similar to Dynamite Cop. Again, I love the females in this uh, this game. They're they're very. Um... Oh, Pepper! <laughs> That's awesome. Um, oh, get it, get it. Um. Yeah, the the females are very uh, extravagant in terms of what they're wearing. Oh, there's another one. Let's get the pepper. Spray her in the face. <coughs> yeah. I don't want that. The pepper is actually quite fun. Oh, it's disappeared. That's annoying. Oh, go on. Near. That fountain is annoying. I mean, fuck me, it's water at the end of the day. What? Why does it hurt? Answers on a postcard. Uh, okay. Ooh! Oh, bollocks! Okay, you'll have to show it me three fucking times. Ooh, who's this? The frig. How bizarre. Luckily, I think I'm in a room where I can pick up shit and throw it at, the, at him. Let's throw a chair at him. Have a chair in the face. Let's have another chair. <coughs> oh, fuck. Can I get the table? No. I can smash it up. He. Ooh. Looks dangerous. No credits! <laughs> oh, well, that's annoying. I'm pretty sure with Dynamite Cop you could uh, just play. Oh, that's very annoying. But never mind. Um, so yes, uh, gameplay. Oh no, graphics. Graphics, let's wrap this up. Um, as, as I've said before, for games of this era, a little bit blocky, you know what I mean? Sort of polygony and all that kind of stuff but uh, there's lots of variety it's colorful uh, I'm gonna give it a good seven um, sound wise I like you know there's the speech in it it's the, the music's decent uh, there's enough like some good tension and drama to you know in terms of the music to enhance that that drama so again I'm gonna give it a seven gameplay uh, playability I'm gonna give it a, a a seven it's very playable there's you know it's good fun I'd imagine in, in two players well it'd be a lot of fun too so yeah definitely a seven replayability uh, it's a tough old game I mean as you can see I didn't get uh, up that far uh, I think it, one of its criticisms in the reviews um, from when it was released was uh, that it, it's actually a little bit short so um, but you know it, replayability I definitely would like to play this again I just wondered are there other options to change the uh, no I thought you might be able to see how many uh, cheats you could have not cheats lives continues all that stuff so yeah replayability seven it's a it's a solid seven it's um it's a really fun game and you know a, a cracking sort of beat em up uh, sort of 2D, 3D beat em up. Yeah, a lot of fun, and I, I have enjoyed going back to it. And I, I would recommend people check it out. And there you go. That was another video done. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you for more retro goodness next week. And uh, check us out at 60minuteswith.co.uk. And uh, go to the website. There's loads of amazing stuff on there, as always. So thank you for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.
Yippee-ki-yay! Melon Farmer. <laughs>